Yes, I was in your house. I know you changed the lock. I know you didn't give my husband a key, but you told him where you kept the key. I know you didn't text it to him. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just stop right there. You did call him, but guess what? I have a call recorder on his phone, so I got a hold of that, that message. I came to your house as soon as you left for work and spent the rest of my day there until it was time for me to go to work. I'm not out of my mind. Let me tell you something. As long as my husband is welcome to your house, I'm also welcome to your house. Get that in, into your thick score. As long as my husband is welcome in your house, I'm welcome there. I know. I made a total mess of your house. And so what? You're making a mess of my marriage. So why are you tripping? You make a mess of my marriage. I come and make a mess of your house. And by the way, whatever, by the way, my husband, our clothes, me and my children, your stepchildren, our clothes is still in your dryer. The last load, I left it there. I couldn't make it before leaving for work. The last load is in your dryer. Please make sure you fold it and put it in a basket I left on top of the dryer. Okay, okay. Well, if you don't do it the next time I'm there, I will do it myself. If you do anything to it, I will report you to our husband and he'll get mad at you. I left my mess on the table in front of the TV so you can clean it. L let me tell you something. If it was my husband making all that mess in your house, were you complain? You were not complain. So you need to clean that mess, eh? By the way, I like your cable package. Oh my God, I enjoy all, all kinds of all kinds of TV shows and movies. And your couch is so comfortable. Mm, matter of fact, sir. What matter of fact, said, thank you for choosing my husband to be screwing with because at least I got somewhere else to go and enjoy something I don't have at home. By the way, the food I cooked that I left on our stove, I want you to take it and put it somewhere special when my husband comes to visit you. You set the table, let him eat it. You shouldn't taste it, oh, don't eat it. Set it on the table when he comes visit you, let him taste my cooking in your house. You never met somebody crazy like me, I never met somebody as desperate as you. By the way, go in your bathroom. I left my painting dry on top of that towel. You can dry your hands with. If it's dry, put it in the dryer along with my clothes. And by the way, when I change my pad, I put it inside your bathroom trash. I really don't know what you do with pad. And I was not trying to go outside and put it inside of your, your, your trash can. That's also, but anyways, you might want to change your bathroom trash before that pad starts smelling in your bathroom. And I took your edge control. Where you get our edge control from? I took your edge control. Anyway, the toothbrush you got there, you might want to get another one because I use it to slick down my edges. And I also took the edge control because I've never seen an edge control like that and I needed one like that. It's, it's, it's really nice. Thank you. I slept in your bed. I took a long nap in your bed. So, hey, if you want... Uh, if you want to change your sheets, you can change your sheets, but I think it would be wise if you just leave it like that. So when my husband can't, he will smell my, you know, you smell my everything in your bed too. <laughs> You're going to take me to court for trespassing. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? How are you going to prove that? How can a person who's trespassing have a, have a key to your house? And besides, I've been on your case long time ago. I got pictures of you and my husband chilling on your patio. I got pictures of you and him everywhere. I would just tell the judge that we are all roommates. We are all roommates. 